Hello everybody, my name is Eric Valdez, in case you didn't know, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome to my YouTube channel if you're new. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be explaining three things you need to know before buying a pair of, buying a pair of Clark Wallabies. Um, so I wanted to make this video and add some additional information over this shoe, just in case you are considering or buying a pair. And although we've been seeing the recent appearance of this shoe everywhere on Instagram, through your newsfeed, on TikTok, um, this shoe has actually been around for a very long time and I wanted to share that with you guys in three things that you need to know before buying a pair. I broke it down based on what I think are the most important parts of this shoe. So I hope you guys enjoy and feel free to leave a like or subscribe if you found out something new or if you just enjoyed this video. So with all that being said, um, let's hop into some brief history of the Clark Wallaby. Clark Wallaby has been an iconic shoe for an exceedingly long time now. The moccasin inspired shoe first debuted in 1967 in the UK and didn't really make a statement but found its way to Jamaica and became a staple in Jamaican footwear. The Clark Wallaby is primarily based on a German designed moccasin with a crepe sole that companions the upper moccasin very well. Clark Wallaby really entered the scene in New York during the 80s and eventually became a staple in the early rap scene. This shoe has an expectationally long history of moving around the world and was a huge hit in Jamaica and North America. But that is a topic for another time because the history of this shoe never seems to come to an end. With all that being said, let's finally hop into the three things you need to know before buying a pair of Clark Wallabies. The material. So here in hand, I have the maple suede Clark Wallaby. Um, the, the suede is very rich and thin. Um, and it's very smooth and although this is a maple suede Clark offers different upper materials um, They they offer different options. I've seen snake skin. I've seen uh, I believe leather and they have all kinds of fuzzy and cool ones and um, One like this I picked was because the material of this is really made for warmer weather um, Which is why it's quite important that you choose wisely on the upper material that you choose because as many of you guys know um, water and moisture can really damage the suede on just about anything that's suede so that's why um, I would not wear this shoe if it rained or it snowed because that moist and all that um, water and sluggish snow can really cause permanent damage on suede like this so I would not wear this shoe if it was like that um, so it is very important to choose wisely on the upper material depending on the climate that you live in. Um, but I went with this because spring's just around the corner and I'm excited to wear this shoe more often during the spring. And um, yeah, I'm going to try to stay away with uh, rain because I want these to last me, especially because they're my first pair. Um, they kind of hold a sentimental value inside my heart. But with that being said, the upper material, like I said, um, choose wisely. And this is the maple suede. With suede, try to stay away from moisture and snow unless you don't care. But I do. Um, so with that being said, upper material, great. Um, so now we have the sole. So this is just a signature uh, wedge rubber sole, which has a really soft touch to it. And is actually quite comfortable. Um, and it's very sustainable from what I can tell. This kind of sole, I feel like, is going to last a long time. So with everything that I've just explained in the material, I would say this shoe is very sustainable and it's a, I would say, 9 out of 10 uh, material. Just like I said, choose wisely on your upper sole if you want this shoe to last you long. So with that being said, let's hop into the second thing you need to know before buying a pair of Clark Wallabies. So the second thing I wanted to touch on is going to be the sizing and fit. I really wanted to touch on this because I feel like it is crucially important when it comes to purchasing anything that it fits you and that it's a great sizing for you because um, who wants to buy a pair of shoes that don't fit them or a pair of anything that doesn't fit them. Um, I would personally say that the Clark Wallaby runs big. I usually wear an 11 or 10 and a half and decided to go with the 10 and a half not knowing what to expect and I would say that they still a fit bit looser than what I would like. So I would definitely recommend going half a size or even a full size down um, because they do run big. So with that, with all that being said and getting the sizing and fitting done, um, let's hop into the last thing you should know before buying a Clark Wallaby. Focus. Okay. So the last thing that I wanted to touch on with uh, three things you need to know before 
buying a pair of Clark Wallabies. Um, I really wanted to touch on styling the Clark Wallaby. I think this is a very important aspect because this can be easy or very difficult depending on how you see yourself styling the shoe. But I think I've broken it down to um, styling the Clark Wallaby is all about your personal preference and is also about what you see yourself wearing in a moccasin like this. Um, for me personally, I've been inspired by many people that I've seen um, on Instagram and on social media styling this shoe. So I'm going to try to put pictures somewhere in the screen. And um, I'm going to add those photos just so you guys can see. And maybe you guys can get inspired by someone else's uh, styling with this shoe. But personally, I like this shoe with uh, flare jeans. Um, a very open cut jean at the bottom. Um, and that's just the way I like to style shoes. And especially this one, I think they complement each other very well. But with all that being said, um, those are my three things you need to know before buying a pair of this. Um, buying a pair of these, not this. Um, so yeah, comment down below if there's a certain colorway you want to get. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And thank you guys for watching another video.